Hi, this is DIY Mom, and today I'm installing a flagstone patio in my backyard with the help of neat lawn care landscaping. Make sure I do everything properly and also so I don't break my back. The reason I decided to do flagstone <laughs> is because it fits in really well with my backyard and also I can lift it up, whereas the man-made concrete pieces of stone were way too heavy. So I went to the Stone Depot in Bears Lake and I got one ton of flagstone, five bags of flex lock, 120 square feet of gator base, some edging, and some spikes. And Steve Brand Resources dropped off one ton of crusher dust to my house. This gator base is going to save me a lot of labor and a lot of heavy lifting, and it's just gonna make the whole process so much faster. The first thing I did was measure, mark, and cut out the sod in the area that I want to lay my flagstone patio. So I'm doing 120 square feet of flagstone patio today. So I cut out, removed all the sod, and now we have to dig down a couple more inches so that we have enough space for the gator base, the crusher dust, and the flagstone. So about four to five inches down into the ground. Getting through all of the roots and the rocks in my backyard was a bit of a hassle. Chris even had to get out his concrete saw, connect it to my hose, and cut the granite that was peeking out of the ground with a diamond blade. After the rock was removed, we tampered the ground. Then we lugged one yard of crusher dust to my backyard. Okay, now dump it in the pit. Can you move it over to the pit? Dump it. So I've got two pieces of two by two which is gonna show me exactly two inches of crusher dust, and that's how much crusher dust we need to lay so that this will be level in the end. And then taking my level, I'm just gonna pull it across the planks of wood and draw it back. What are you doing, Mommy? Leveling out the crusher dust. Okay. Take this. I can do that too. You can do it too? Yeah. I do Push this over into the box. So we laid down two inches of crusher dust, leveled it, tampered it, and then we're gonna get going on our gator base. So we're gonna lay these like bricks. We're using the edging to get our spacing so that we know where we wanna lay the base. And then once we're done that, we're gonna start laying our flagstone. So that's the fun part. We're laying the stone Basically like a puzzle, just trying to make them fit as naturally as possible. Lennon, can you find a square? Come on. Oh, good spot. Okay, so now that I have my stones in formation, I am just using a little bit of my crusher dust to level out some of the uneven parts. It's gonna be a little bit uneven with the natural stone, but I'm just trying to minimize that. Now I'm just securing the edging with some spikes. Okay, so this is Lex Lock Dust, and it's good for four inch gaps. All I have to do is scoop this into the joints. Tamper the stones and spray with some water and we're done. It's got a glue compound in it that when it gets wet, it solidifies and it's gonna hold the stones in place so they're not gonna shift over time and over the winter. My patio, hopefully after all this work, will be here for 100 years. This is great. This is awesome. This is more than I hoped for. Do you like the flagstone patio? Thanks, Mom. Thanks for watching DJ Mom.